Well, the road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia. Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles. You'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh, my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's in the world and Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist. And since going up to 185, has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. The Reaper, Robert Whitaker. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here he is, the emotionless, stoic Fedor Emelianenko, and fans have wondered aloud. Would he come to the UFC? How would he fare once he got here? Those questions get answers tonight. John, you said stoic. But when you watch Emelianenko walk to the octagon, all you're missing is, like, snow coming down <laughs> and it getting real dark, and everybody's kind of walking with the big Russian hat because he just is that unknown that we have all wanted to kind of get a beat on. But what we do know is that this guy can absolutely fight. He's got tremendous wrestling, grappling, and unbelievable knockout power. Look for Fedor to try to end the night of his opponent very early. At one point, he was 31 and 1 in MMA. Fedor Emelianenko still regarded as the greatest heavyweight of all time. statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with round one. And let us see where Robert Whitaker is at this stage of his career. Most of the fans believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is still elite. He's always been a well-rounded fighter. The focus, the aspiration remains on the UFC world title. But a lot of wars in this guy's career, of course, with Yoel Romero and others back in the day. How much fight is left in the dog? We'll find out right now as Robert Whitaker tries to get off to a good start. Down defense holds up. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Punch got blocked there. He throws all of himself into that kick. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Massive head kick. Fedor Emelianenko going for the takedown, but unable to land. Big shot to the head. Oh, 
Great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185-pound woman. All right, early round action here, and Whitaker wasted no time finding a home for that high kick. Well, it's one of his great shots, right? He does a good job of setting up, making you rotate into the side that he wants to throw. He throws that beautiful high kick. He has done that since he was on the Ultimate Fighter Smashes. Beautiful kick there. Whitaker going for the leg kick. But it's not going to happen. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Robert Whitaker. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Big shot to the body. Gets to the single collar time. Nice. Nicely done. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Fedor Emelianenko gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here though. Lands the inside leg kick there. That punch was deflected, nicely done. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, vintage Robert Whitaker there with that combination. I'm not sure how much more the opposition can take here, DC. Beautiful shot by close the distance. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage. Looking pretty swollen now. Unable to connect with the right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! With authority, the body. Oh, my goodness! Oh! Nice high kick. Oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Whitaker's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. 30 seconds now to go in the round. It's a pretty good jab. He's cut. Get the elbow. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Robert Wood. Takedown defense holds up. And it goes cheap. Looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. He doesn't know you have a hold. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, he was able to block that one. Fedor Emelianenko gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both oh, oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Big left hand there inside. Shot is blocked there by Robert Whitting. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. Still that was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, oh, right hand. Turn it around. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Closing up. And he blocks the shot there. On point with that jab today. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard Let's to miss go. the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of... Oh, nice angle pick. Great timing, better execution. Just out of range with the big right hand. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. That's a crazy fight. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. You get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent. Could be the beginning of the end here. That is very tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some big ground and pound. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to Landing. Oh, another blow hits that cut. Referee might need to call on the doctor here soon. Fedor Emelianenko getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Let's go. Nice. Whitaker's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Seconds winding down in round two. And now he's got the back. Oh, Ten minutes oh, in the books. Oh. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up.
What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Emelianenko's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough, because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Right hook to the head block. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful straight punch there by Robert Whitton. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Just misses with the straight right. Goes an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Defensively responsible, nice block. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That was a tremendous high kick. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, I think I can see. Oh, oh, Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Emelianenko getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Whitaker's in half court. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission D. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. Starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, he got to his spot. Great shot from the top position. Emelianenko's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Nice 
power there with the left hook upstairs. Final seconds of round three. Whitaker's eye. What a round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm just saying, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> All right, fourth round is now underway as we... <laughs> What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Gets back to his feet. Oh my goodness. And that will do it. Oh my goodness. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. Well, he's still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add to what is already the best legacy.